okay we need to talk we need to have a serious conversation before we go into the conversation before you really understand what is born in my heart this much i wanted to put you under your chest and say i'm loved at home i'm loved by god i'm loved by my parents i'm loved by my friends and i love me i hope you've said that guys welcome to my youtube channel if you are seeing my face for the first time my name is ore so my returning and amazing subscribers thank you guys so much for coming back thank you for your love thank you for your support if you're just coming across this video and you're yet to subscribe to my youtube channel please make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel there's premium content here let's go straight into today's video what's that that is really born in my heart yeah it's love let's start the conversation this way i don't know many of us probably had a crush in school and you know that feeling when you probably have that crush and you you want that crush you like them you wish that oh probably you guys are in a relationship or you just really really like that person and you sometimes you try you try to do every possible thing that you can do to make them notice you let them just know that aura is here let me just know that let them just know that you are here let them just know that you are sat beside them let them just know that you walked past them let them just feel your presence and you just really 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 want them you just want them to ask you out you just really want them to ask you out you want them to be in your life and you're giving out that energy of i really really want you like without you i cannot leave if i don't have you no one else will that's the energy i'm talking about here that energy of applying so much pressure just to see that someone the person we like that does not really like us likes us that energy needs to come to an end this year sometimes it could even be in friendship sometimes it could even be in the relationship you you already sense that this person does not like you you know that this person does not like you there are signs that this person gives for instance would always like is a sign that i think we'll be able to relate with maybe the person has not called you in like months and you guys are in a relationship and you are always explaining you need to call me you need to call me and person does not say any reason why they should call you. you the person is always giving an excuse like, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm very busy. And that's just a lie because the truth is we always find time for what we love. We always find time for things we enjoy doing. If I, if I want to eat, I would always find time to eat. I want to pray, I would find time to pray. I want to see my family, I want to talk to my partner, I would find time for him. Like, you would always go out of your way, right, for something you love. So when it looks like... You are trying to constantly have to apply pressure, try to explain yourself. Like, I want you to call me. I really need you to call me. It means that you've started chasing it. It means that you started forcing it. Chasing just means that this person is running and you're trying to catch up with them. You're trying to be like, I, I want you to do this. I want you to do that. Love should not be like that. It shouldn't be a tarot chase. Once I said this video and said that we should make those statements. Say it to yourself. See that you're actually loved at home. You're loved by God. And then you have your will, right? This person can choose to behave that way, but you have a will to choose that. I need to respect myself. I have self-respect. Why do I need to chase someone to love me? There's a whole lot of negative consequence to chasing someone that does not like you. Number one, you're going to be emotionally stressed. Number two, you're going to be wasting your time. You need to tell yourself that I need to develop a self-respect for myself. I need to truly love myself. Why do I need to constantly chase someone? This is like both ways. It could be a guy chasing a lady or a lady chasing a guy. And the lady is telling you, please, can I call you back? I want to close my fridge. Or please, can I call you back? I want to wear my slippers. You already know this person is not interested in you. These are like, these are not like legit reasons for someone to want to call you back. Because I want to close my fridge. Or because I want to wear my slippers. And then you probably, you are probably talking to the person. And the person is just, you know, telling you, I'm not interested in you. Person is clearly telling you I'm not interested in you, but you keep saying you need to be interested in me. You, maybe you're not even verbally saying it, but you are just giving that energy. Calling this person morning, afternoon, night. The person keeps canceling your call. The person is already tired of you, but you're probably stalking them on IG. If they don't respond to your chat on WhatsApp, you go on Instagram to send them a DM. If they're not there on DM on IG, you're going to Snapchat, you're going to Twitter. You're just making sure that you're all over their face so they see you. You need to tell yourself that I am loved by me. I am complete without this person. 
that's one thing you need to tell yourself i am complete without this person i don't need to constantly chase this person i shouldn't be chasing this person why should i chase you like if love is meant to be mutual why should it be like a mosquito relationship why should i be the mosquito who's coming to bite and suck your blood I also want to give this person space to breathe because this person is not breathing. You're just, you're just trying to, I want you. I want you. I'm not complete without you. Those are the energy that you're giving out. And the sad reality of this is that those energy that you pour out can be felt. Like this person would just keep running and running away from me. Imagine, let me give this scenario. Imagine you, um, I'm trying to give a scenario. Imagine you're at, you at the park and then you're you not really a dog lover. And then you just probably see a dog coming towards you and you keep running and you keep running and you're just trying to run making sure that the dog doesn't catch up with you and then you are running really very fast that's how it is when you're facing you know you're trying to force love we're trying to force someone to be in a relationship with you the person is probably in this example you and then you the other end you are the dog that's trying to chase the person and person says, i just want to catch my breath i just want to catch my breath i'm tired and everyone around you can see that something is going on everyone around you can see that you're under pressure and around you can see that you're trying to rest and the dog is trying to make sure that they, they get to you they get at you that's the energy they are putting out there if you're trying to force someone to love you you this, this sometimes we act like we don't know when by trying to force love but the truth is we know because you can feel the stress it feels so forced it's just like a relationship as well um let's say a friendship relationship as well they are trying to make sure that this person is my friend but at the same time this person is already my friend and I'm trying to make sure that this person becomes my friend and just like i don't want you we are still trying to force it there's something i realized there's something i i, I realized like from my experience right i don't know if you've also ever noticed but i think it really works let's say you're in a relationship and you end the relationship there is it's either two-way thing is it that there's someone in the relationship there in the relationship there that wants the relationship to work very well person didn't want the breakup to happen but it happened and there's somebody on the other end that is just like mm, i'm fine the relationship has ended and the person has moved on and there's you the other person that has not moved on you really want the relationship and if you realize that probably when the relationship came to an end you on the other end that wanted the relationship to continue you will probably send the message and like what's up I, I can't do without you i can't live without you i'm not complete without you please come back to my life realize that the other person they are trying to talk to the other person is like maybe they even block you person's like please i'm done and i'm done but when you begin to let go when you begin to feel like i need to move on with my life like this person is not interested in me i need to move on then you see gradually the person comes gravitating towards you the person's like what's going on it seems like she's moved on it seems like she's probably found that respect now it seems like he's probably found his respect now i need to come back to his life it happens so that's how it should be with love. It should be mutual, right? It should be mutual. You should not have to force anything. If someone is not interested in being in your life, let them go. Now, there's something I posted Joshua Sema says that gets to me. He says something. He says that the best of God is never in the past, right? So if you think that, oh, probably because I'm in my present now and this person does not want me, this is the best thing I can ever have. I need to make sure that they are with me. I need to make sure that I tie their legs with mine, even though I'm not going to find anyone better. It's just a lie from the devil. Something else that he said that really, really caught my attention. And he said, he said that, you know, even Satan, some people are not forced to like him. Some people really, really like Satan. So when you yourself, you are not the devil you are not satan you are not like i'm saying satan because but like that's like the worst person you know that's like the worst of all wicked being i can try to classify but you are not satan you're not the devil so why should you try to force anything even the devil does not force things there are people that willingly really likes him people that really willingly really wants to serve him so you need to embrace self-respect you need to embrace it you need to sit down and really find yourself find yourself and finding yourself you get to see that why do i need to force anything when i'm wonderfully and fearfully made it should be a mutual mutual love mutual relationship i should want you you should want me i shouldn't want you and then you running away from me should it be that way so we need to stop right stop forcing love so we've come to the end of today's video let me know what you think in the comment section um let me give let, let me know your thoughts on this and then i'll see you guys in my next video